Hey folks, this is Brian again with RPG Day 2018, day number 18. Sorry. Yes, 18. Um, it's one of the weekend questions, so they have a slightly different, different format. And uh, the question or prompt for today is art that inspires me. And uh, for this, I'm going to focus specifically on to uh, RuneQuest role-playing Glorantha, which um, is bit by bit becoming my heart and soul. So I'm also experimenting with new stuff. So we're going to try and do this combined video, audio overlay, picture thing. See how this works. Okay, here we go. Now <laughs> we're working things out. Okay, so. Uh, this first picture is Glorantha, a world where mythology is truth and the gods are real. Quick description here, the earth is a cube floating in the sea. The uh, sky is an actual sphere around the uh, earth. Uh, the sun god, in fact, rises up out of the uh, underworld, crosses the sky and goes back into the underworld during the day. The moon stays there in space, rotating once a week. She's the demon lunar goddess. Um, but this is the mythology, and the mythology is real. Next, we have the cover of uh, the book, RuneQuest, Roleplaying and Glorantha. Right there on the front cover is Orlanth himself, the storm god. You can see on his uh, left shoulder the rune for movement and air. Uh, which are, are the embodiment that he embodies those runes, those building blocks, pillars of creation. And on his right uh, shoulder, and I'll unpack for that matter, is magic and mastery, the kind of thing that gods have, right? And then in the background, you have all these heroes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yeah, the six big ones there toward the front are the pre-generated PCs that are within the book that most of the, the uh, description of of how mechanics work are applied through the book. Uh, this next picture is a funeral pyre, obviously. But uh, oh, throughout throughout all of um, the book, they use this Vasana saga. Vasana is one of the pre-generated PCs. Use her saga, her story, to help illustrate various rules and uh, processes and that kind of thing. And this is uh, another one of those Vasana Saga things. Here we see the body of Kelar Starbro, Starbrow, pardon me, the Prince of Sartor, uh, being uh, burned at Boldholm. She had died during the Battle of the Creek, in which Vasana was a, uh, a supporter of her uh, there and, and was at the, at the battle. Uh, I believe she was severely damaged, but uh, through various magical means, survived. This next picture, oh, and I also wanted to say that uh, there's a certain artist who I believe did all these these uh, these pictures, and I just really like this style. And to me, it helps bring out the magic and the culture and the flavor of Glorantha, and that's why I'm trying to highlight some of these. Okay, this next one we have um, Harmast, who's a kinsman of, of um, Asana, who is haggling at this point with a small caravan owner. They're going to travel with the caravan to go to Prax to do some, something they're gonna, they went out there for a reason, I forgot what it was, but uh, the small caravan owner are actually bison riders. You see the bison in the background there with, with the uh, stuff on it. But Hermes is trying to, haggle over their terms uh, for being hired on. Um, also, Yanioth, who is Vasana's uh, half-sister, uh, touching Harmas on the, on the shoulder there because she's saying, hey, that's enough of this. Let's just take our deal and go. She doesn't like to argue. Okay, this next picture is of an earth temple, Ernalda, the earth goddess. Uh, queen of life and creation. Um, 
is fairly standard through a lot of the different cultures. And uh, this is a uh, worship ceremony they have going on there. This next one is Vasana meeting up with Argraf, King Argraf. He's a Praxian king at this point. And they are both members of this uh, White Bull Society. And uh, she is um, presenting herself to him and he is offering her gifts. And this specific instance is a, a new sword. Uh, this next picture is of a knowledge temple in uh, Boldholm, which is the capital of Sardar, where Vasana has gone to learn more about the history of the house of Sartre. You've got a kind of a, um, a genealogy or a generation chart there down the ground that the guy is, is doing his magic stuff over. Uh, in the storyline for Vasana Saga, it's also where she meets um, this other lady. She forgot her name, but anyway, she's she's a, a priestess of knowledge, and she joins Hassan on some of her her quests and stuff. All right, this next picture is a uh, illustration of enchanting uh, a magical item. You will notice that there is a jade bracelet on top of that little spire kind of thing there that, that Yanni off is enchanting with uh, her own personal power, which is part of her spirit. Um, and creating this item to hold an earth spirit in it uh, that she's going to gift to Vasana to help uh, give her more defenses. Okay, this next one's kind of dark, but in the foreground there is this giant brew monstrosity, and a brew is a chaos creature. And um, they have gone to the caves of chaos in order to seek out this ancient relic called the snake pipe. Pardon me. In this area of the land, this this chaos region is called the Snake Pipe Hollow. Uh, and it's actually a a depression in the ground from some kind of chaotic event. It actually looks kind of like a pipe, actually. Uh, but they went into the caves. They ran into this giant monstrosity of brew and some more brew. Some people were wounded. One guy died. Uh, not a good thing. So they uh, escaped with their lives. This next picture shows uh, Vasana and her party being captured by wolf pirates um, for which they get ransomed back by uh, Prince Argraf. At this point, he's the Prince of Sardar. And this whole concept of ransoming is uh, uh, part of RuneQuest since the beginning. You don't kill people, uh, destroy them to the death. To the death. You, you beat them up to the point where they're going to give up and they've got a ransom. Their people will pay for them to get them back because life is precious and combat is deadly. This last picture is of Vasana taking the black spear of the Kalimar tribe. It is actually a whiter, which is like a magical relic, uh, a relic of power and uh, of, of actually spirit represents the Kalimar tribe. But she's been gifted this by the queen of the Kalimar tribe, uh, Lainiki, Lainiki, I think her name is. Uh, but it's to help her, help Vasana on her quest uh, back into the snake by Palo to again attempt to retrieve the ancient snake pipe. So some of these artworks, and at this point, I want to go back to the other video. Okay, I'm back. We'll see how this all works out. My first time actually editing a video, putting stuff together, that kind of deal. So we'll see how well it works or doesn't work in this case. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, but for me, now I'll, I will not buy uh, an RPG or a scenario or anything simply based on the artwork. I, I just don't work that way. For me, artwork is gravy. Um, but I have to admit, I am really, really impressed with the art, artwork for the new RuneQuest we're playing in Glorantha. Um, all their stuff, the, the source book, uh, this, uh, this one, uh, the bestiary. Uh, soon I'm going to get a PDF of the um, God's Glorantha too. So as the stuff continues to come out, I have to admit, 
it is gorgeous stuff and it really really for me captures the flavor of the magic and the culture um of glorantha and has inspired me to not only up my game but to uh increase what i know so i can help bring some of that forth in my games um this last time at gen con um when i'm trying to describe glorantha i start out with the same way i did here with that picture of uh, of glorantha you know the earth you know mythology is real the uh, mythology is truth <laughs> facts mythology is truth and you know the gods are real and that kind of thing and i'll, I'll outright point to them see the moon up there in the sky that red thing floating around rotates once every week that's the lunar goddess this demon who came from the earth and ripped this piece of the earth up with her to make the moon and it's actually a hole in in lunar that goes down to hell well the underworld you know the, the god actually comes out of the underworld he had died at one point and was in the underworld and the underworld wanted to keep him and Orlanth went on a quest to go and bring him back and part of the deal was okay half the day he's got to be down here it's great stuff great great stuff uh, but that's the artwork that's currently inspiring me how about you happy gaming